Welcome back, everyone, to episode 15 of our Lords of the Fallen Let's Play series here on the PlayStation 5. This is your host, Free Nachos, as always. And last episode, we had gotten to Lower Calrath, which is kind of the fire realm of this game. We took on the Infernal Enchantress. I think she took us about five times to beat. We cleared her out, and now we are working deeper into the Lower Calrath area. Eventually, we will meet one of the main bosses of the game, but for right now, this, this episode is probably not going to be boss-heavy. This episode is going to be a lot of just straight progression. So hang tight, stick with me. We still have our kind of holy build that we're doing. We're not liberating any of the beacons in the game. Uh, we did pick up a ring, which we're wearing now. We're wearing the magma ring, which... Uh, increases resistance to ignite, which is definitely going to be good in this area. The last few times we've leveled up, we've been investing into endurance. So we think we were at 13, 12 or 13 endurance, now we're at 15. Uh, we are level 48, and our highest stat is radiance, which is 31. Again, still, we are going to invest heavily into strength and radiance, but... Uh, we definitely need to invest a little bit into endurance because I found myself wearing down pretty quickly when it came to uh, not having enough endurance like I did right there. Uh, we've already cleared out that area. Eventually, we will go all the way around and open up that door that will connect this corridor with that main area. But for now, we're going to go up and around, taking out as many enemies as we can. Uh, I believe we did go that way, opened up a shortcut. So now we are in new territory for this episode. Get up on this guy. Ah, my feet. <laughs> I had the block up. I, I, my, my stamina must have gone. Um, can't believe I died there. It's embarrassing. What an embarrassing way to start today's episode. Um, this game will kick your ass. I don't care if you've played it before. If it's your first time playing it. This game will whoop your ass. Um, if you let it, for sure. I'm just, I'm running out of uh, stamina way too quickly. We need to continue to invest in stamina, uh, AKA endurance. Oh, shit. He's got dive bombed there. death around every corner. Let's go ahead and emerge from Umbral before we uh, fight the dust here for good. Okay, come on you.
Get away. Dodge. Trying to dodge. There we go. Let's go ahead and use a cluster or two. And then we'll go ahead and use a heal. I think I have heal. Oh no, I don't have a heal on. Let's go ahead and change out. Um, I haven't used the Radiant Slash quite yet. Healing Sigil and Sanctify. Um, let's try that. Um, I would like to try, though, this episode, this um, Slash, this Radiant Slash. I do feel like it'll be It'll be a good range attack for us. All right. Let's continue. We've already faced quite a few challenges. Just getting basic progression in this area. Um, the first time I played through, um, I had come here much later on. I was probably level 80-ish, level 70-ish, level 80-ish. Now I'm level 48 being, uh, being in this area. So this is definitely going to be a little bit of a, of a new test for me. Because before I could just kind of tank my way through everything. and go into Umbral. Of course he took advantage of me. Of course he took advantage while I was fighting the other guy. Come here, you. And this game just does not let up. This game will kick your ass in a huge way. Um, let's get this before I die. more health here. I know in this level in particular there is, are a lot of um, Inferno scaling weapons. Weapons that are based in Inferno. So there's not going to be too many items that we get in this world that we're going to keep.
get the item first. And just, you know, spawn those guys. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. My stamina is so fucked. No healing left. Okay, back up. Whew. Okay, that was difficult. That was mucho difficult. Oh, we're almost up to full health now. That's nice. God damn. This place will wreck you. And this is having already played through this entire game once and already knowing what to expect. Get out of here. We do have a level up. So let's definitely leave the umbral at the first opportunity we get so we can go level up and I think we have a checkpoint not too far away actually. Um let's quickly hop into it. Right here. Go ahead and upgrade. I'll oh, put one more into endurance for sure. Now, even when I was uh, much higher level than I am now, I had a lot of difficulty with this whole area coming up. Um, had a lot of trouble with it. So we shall see. I do better this time around. We do have to go into Umbral to cross this bridge. Is there a guy behind us? Does he wake up? Yes, he does. something down there. I don't know if I ever got that item before. I would have to drop down. I would have to drop all the way down to re remember it was there. Um, speaking of dropping down, we're going to need to drop down here. Fight these fuckers. And we're dead. <laughs> I didn't know there was three. I thought there was two. Yeah, three is just too hard. Did not know there was three of them there. <laughs> I knew it was coming, too. I knew the two were spawning. See, this is uh, why I prefaced by saying uh, this, this place kicked my ass the first time, so I'm sure it's going to kick my ass again. Oh, you're here. I think what I might want to do is detonate all those pustules. Okay, I 
did do that. Almost killed myself in the process. One tap. And he fell, I think. So yeah, we... We took the damage hit, but we did basically kill all the enemies in that area. Alright. There's an enchantress up there. Make sure we heal. And then we'll put on some holy defense before we take her on. She wrecked me. She st stun locked me and wrecked me. Dude, I thought I I thought I casted my um. I thought I casted my my sorcery at her. My R two. I did. It must not have hit her. That was very strange. Blocking the whole time. <laughs> yeah, but dude, I totally cast my my Valkyrie, you know, double Valkyrie attack, and it didn't do shit to her. So I don't know if it got interrupted or what happened, or if it just missed. That, that wind-up, the Radiant Slash, is like literally like a two and a half second wind-up. That does not do that much damage. And then my R2 with my Valkyries. Because um, she's in like a cor congested corridor. Um, it missed. It basically missed. It misses. So I think we're just going to have to kill her the old-fashioned way. Put holy on our spear. Finally, some relief. I believe there's a door somewhere on, in this area. That's a connector door. Now that item was down here. Is it a mimic though? Cinder arrows. I don't think I ever got those the first time. First time I played through the whole game. Okay, so this is another area. We're gonna have to be careful.
Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, hell no. Hell no, you're not getting me, Grim Reaper. Um, now this area up here is like a total death trap. Um, so we need our R1. Take that Radiant Slash off. Hey, you. All you guys. <laughs> jerks. I see you there. Take three magical bursts to kill you. And then don't go down there, because that's a trap. This way is safer. Okay. Well, we are making some progress now. Um, there's a vestige up here, so I'm just going to go ahead and touch it. Vestige of Lydia, the numb witch. <clears throat> Not going to rest, though. ladder. Um, now we are going to go ahead and clear out that whole area down there, and there's that, down there's that connecting door down that way. down. Check for goodies under here. You. I'd heard things in Mornstead were bad, but this... Centuries of madness and slaughter. Atrocity upon atrocity committed by man and Rogar alike. If all this really resulted from the presence of the rune, then... Whatever boons it might offer, don't forget that lamp is a burden. But it's your burden. So bear it. Never turn to someone else to carry it for you. Okay, got it. Whatever boons it might but it's your never turn to someone else. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you for the information. I'm gonna drop down on this tool bag. I hope he uh, gets closer so I can jump him. Um, you know what, maybe I'll just 
Maybe I'll just take him on. He's walking that way. Okay, he got me. He got me. Alive. Come on, you. Who's shooting me from above? Like, really? Somebody else is taking pot shots on at me? Like, what in the world? Okay, let's um connect this before we die. Wow, one, one melee by those guys, and they burn you. Okay, connect these, this guy here. I tried to block, I guess I wasn't quick enough. Ah, well. Doesn't matter anyway, we've already cleared out. We had to go into Umbral anyways. Don't want to go up that way yet. Under here. Elian, you can't just run off like this. You had everyone at the orphanage worried sick. I know it's not easy, but it can be a frightening place at times, so I want to give you something very special I've had since I was a little girl. When I used to get scared, I'd hold it very, very tightly, and that's when it would reveal its magic to me. And I'd know there was no need to be afraid. So the next time you get scared, I want you to be a brave girl and do the same thing. Understand, there's nothing to be afraid of, Elian. I promise. The Odd Stone. Now, that, the Odd Stone is a usable item. Um, I never quite understood what it did the first time I got it. I think between episodes I'll have to look and check what it does. But I think let's go ahead and kill Buddy down here. And then we'll call that an episode. That's a mimic. Dark Oath. Dark Oath uh, outfit colors. Cool. Alright guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and cut today's episode there. When we continue, we will go back up to that vestige that we got up top and go into the next area which I believe should lead us to the boss eventually so if we move quickly next episode we might be able to get to uh, a main boss but we will see so anyway guys my name is Free Nachos thanks as always for watching I'll see you in the next one